The Yankees' 2014 draft leans heavily to the mound as they spent their first five selections on pitchers. Their draft began in the second round at number 55 overall when they selected Mississippi State left-hander Jacob Lindgren, who has a chance to be one of the quicker moving pitchers of this draft. He has performed statistically as well as any pitcher in college baseball from a reliever standpoint. He struck out nearly half the fitters, hitters he faced this year, roughly 46%. And more than that, when hitters did get, get the ball and play on him, they often beat it into the ground. His fastball offers a ton of deception, sitting 91-94, to 94, touching 95 at its best. Out of the bullpen, he has primarily been a two-pitch pitcher with an out-pitch slider that is at least a plus offering and has drawn some 70 grades at its best. The Yankees used their next selection in the third round on Austin Dakar, right-handed prep pitcher from Connecticut, whom you can see in the video. At his best, Dakar will sit 91-94, to 94, touching 96, with a power curveball that is at least a plus offering. Dakar is old for the class as he went undrafted last year and is now a fifth-year senior at a prep school. But he offers a power two-pitch mix and improved strike-throwing ability from a strong physical presence. With their third selection in the fourth round, the Yankees drafted South Carolina left-hander Jordan Montgomery. He has a strong track record of performance on Friday nights in a power conference. He is a big left-hander who has an average fastball, but has good feel for pitching, control, and a chance for an above average changeup. They went back to the college ranks with their next selection with Jordan Foley out of Central Michigan. He is another power pitcher who will likely move to the bullpen, but can sit in the low 90s running his fastball up to 95 and 96 in the rotation. He does offer a below average breaking ball without great command, but he has a splitter that shows at least average potential, flashing much better than that. In the sixth round, the Yankees went back to Mississippi State, this time grabbing Lindgren's teammate, Jonathan Holter a right-hander who run his fastball up to 92 or 93, largely sitting 88 to 91, with a chance for at least an average curveball that flashes better. He has a very strong track record of performance and throwing strikes. So at the end of the day, the Yankees class will be defined by the power arms they get at the top of the draft, with a chance for a few of those to move quickly and potentially contribute out of the Yankees bullpen in short order.